first alert. This is a live look right now at the ruins along the Israel-Gaza border. Right now, the IDF is pushing deeper into Hamas-controlled territory. Meanwhile, overnight, Israeli forces killed the commander who directed portions of the major attacks on October 7th. Meanwhile, the IDF is hunting down Hamas targets inside their 300-mile tunnel network. Yep, Trey Yinkst is live on the ground in southern Israel with the latest. Trey. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. I do want to start with some breaking news. Two separate times this morning, there have been suspected drone infiltrations into Israeli airspace in the southern part of the country. Israeli media is reporting these were drones likely fired by Houthi rebels in Yemen that came toward Israel through the Red Sea. Here along the southern border between Israel and Gaza, the fighting continues. I do want to just show you the scene behind me as we talk here. You can see a lot of activity in the ruins of the northern part of Gaza. We do understand, according to Hamas, the group in control of the Strip, that their al qassam Brigades, the main military wing of Hamas, has been engaging Israeli forces that are currently operating in the Strip there that you see. Yesterday, we saw those Israeli tanks that were going back and forth along the border. We also have some information from the Israeli military that we can't reveal yet about the battles that took place overnight. But as that information becomes on the record, we will bring it to you later in the day. All of this comes as we are learning more about the hostages being held inside Gaza. 240 people. That does not include the four that have been released, two American citizens and two Israeli citizens. And of course, that Israeli soldier that was rescued just yesterday as part of the ongoing Israeli efforts inside the Strip. We're talking about Private Ori Megadish, who was freed from activity captivity. She was originally taken on October 7th from the Nahaloz base that sits along the border with Gaza. The Israelis say she is in good condition and that she was able to meet with her family just yesterday. This does come as the Israelis say they conducted a strike against one specific commander from Hamas in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. We're talking about Nassim Abu Ajina, who directed one of the attacks against Israeli civilians on October 7th. Yet another member of Hamas that has been taken out by Israeli forces. As they do tell Fox News, the efforts are focused around trying to destroy Hamas capabilities and the leadership command inside Gaza. Guys, back to you. Hey, Trey, you did report earlier that there were high-level Israeli officials in Doha trying to work with these uh, uh, to get the hostages out. Does that have anything to do with the rescue that the IDF pulled off? So we understand there are two separate issues. The Israelis tell Fox that this was a joint effort to save this private who was captured on October 7th. And this effort had to do with the Shin Bet, Israel's intelligence service, and also the army on the ground. They were clearly acting on specific intelligence. They were able to conduct this raid and <coughs> rescue the private that was being held. And we actually saw this photo of her with her family yesterday, and you could just see the relief on their faces. They had their daughter back home after yeah. so many weeks of waiting with no information whether she was alive or dead. Yeah, and, and Trey, I can tell you're being cagey about not revealing operational details, but uh, was she in a tunnel? Because if she was in a tunnel, she's going to be able to tell the IDF, okay, I was in this tunnel and I saw this stuff and this is how they operate. Yeah, I'm being very careful with the details here and I'll tell you why. This morning I met again in Tel Aviv with Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant. And we talked about this specific situation and also the battles that are taking place behind me inside the Gaza Strip. The majority of our conversation with a small group of journalists was off the record. I'm working to get some of that information on the record so I can bring it to you next hour. Okay. But very sensitive details that we're talking about, and I will effort to get them approved and, and able to bring them to you later today. Trey, Trey, you've covered a lot of wars. You've been on the ground for a lot of conflicts. Is it fair to say that the invasion has started? Yeah, this is the, the second stage of this war. It was something that was part of that conversation we, we had today, trying to get clarity on whether this is all part of an expanded raid or whether or not the Israeli forces are operating inside the Gaza Strip and intend to stay there. I have information on that, but I, I just have to wait to give it to you until we can get this cleared Roger, by Israeli censors and ensure that we're not giving away any Israeli positions. I do want to just let you know right now, my producer is telling me that sirens are sounding in Matula. Matula is in northern Israel, an indication that the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah is once again getting involved in this fight and firing on Israeli troops in the north. 
it gives you a sense of just how active the southern and northern front is in this conflict. Those Iranian proxies, not just in Gaza, but also in southern Lebanon, engaging in this fight. All right, Trey, thank you so That's much. Sure.